origins of monsters, ghosts, and spooky things. Jack O'Lantern. The name Jack O'Lantern comes from the Irish myth in which a man called Stree Jack tricks the devil and ends up con- condemned to walk the earth, unable to get to heaven or hell. According to the tale, the original lantern was carved out of been Jack turned to light his way. Turnip Jack turned to t- light his way as he wandered in the dark. Irish immigrants brought the story to America, discovered that pumpkins native to their new home. So thus it became more than that. Zombies, the fish eating z- creatures of movies galore, are Haitian in their origin. Animated corpses, raised by voodoo prince or bookers. Once then reanimated, the zombies would remain under the control of the booker and go over their body. The creatures first appeared in widespread popular culture in 1925 book. A Magic Island by William Seabrook. Three years later, the film White Zombie, though our modern zombies come to be associated more with plagues and viruses and sorcery. Crystal balls, a fortune teller, stable crystal balls, may have been scribed by Piffy the Elder in the first century. In one chapter of his natural history, he discusses magic, magic performed with ball, water, balls, and all sorts of other tools. Some colours have associated these practices with druids which Piffy also discusses. It said that the Druids would employ a procedure known as scything, which they stared into reflected from surfaces of all mirrors, water, and yes, crystals to gain insight. Mummies. Egyptian, ancient Egypt, mummification was a type of body preservation thought to be developed by people looking to mimic the way the desert kept bodies from decaying. As the popularity of all things Egyptian psychotic, Sky rocketed in New York during the 19th century. A mummy's supposed to curse it became a standard horror trope. Appearing in stories by authors such as Brown Stoker, Sir Rit- Arthur Colin Doyle, and even Louise, Louise Mary Alcott. Friday the 13th, so many of us fear the number 13. The word for it is Triskaidekaidophobia. T R I S K A I D E K A P H O B I A. The superstitions surrounding Friday the 13th, however, are less concrete. One theory traces it to Last Supper, attended by twelve apostles and of Jesus. A fact the crucifixion traditionally took place on the Friday. The combined fear of Fridays and number 13, however, doesn't really take place at all, old to the early 30th, 20th century. A Thomas Olson published a book. Called Friday the 13th. Trolls. Trolls come from the North mythology of event prevalent in folklore throughout Scandinavia. They generally live in caves, are found over, over, over rocky foundations, and either giant or quite small. Pathologists like Buffen Kafan, a vagrant of troll warriors, comes from past down year tales. Well, our Cronomaglian ancestors met Nephilians thousands of years ago. Edward Salzman. In Irish legends, the Dullian is frightfully frightening being indeed. Sitting upon a horse, a man rides with his head held high in his hand, so he may scan his surroundings. It wasn't creepy enough, don't worry. The Dullian also carries a whip made of human spine. Bigfoot. Bigfoot is large, fairy ape. A light creature that probably lives in the mountains and forests in the Pacific Northwest, though he's been spotted throughout the rest of North America. While many Bigfoot sightings are said to be hoaxes, it's believed that Bigfoot shares the original story with other but similar characters, like Adonimal Snowmen, humans, or turns out to have a tendency to make all great wild ape like creatures that live in the edges of civilization. Similar creatures are found in the first myths. Of British Columbia, where some of the Sasquatch was meant figure meant to keep children from misbehaving. Vampires. Vampires entered modern society through the publication of John Perry's The Vampire, 1819, and Bram Stoker's Dracula. Through vampire like creatures are present in mythologies of many cultures. It's literature that have gained to shape their traits, the iconic ones we know today. The vampires of Eastern Europe, for example, are not powerful, thin, but rudy and bloated. Trick or treating, mumming or going through the neighbourhood in costume and saying specific lines in strange food, been a staple of certain holidays 
since the Middle Ages. This custom first applied to Halloween, 16th century Scotland, with called gushing. The term trick or treat wasn't used till the 1930s, and it's decidedly American. The Kraken. According to Norwegian folklore, the Kraken was this great giant sea monster who would devour a ship and his entire crew in one swallow. The legend likely has its origins in sailors of Kansas, with giant squid, reaching up to 60 feet in length. Flying broomsticks. Okay. Broom, it's weird. Broomsticks become associated with flying because of which is flying on the wind. A potion made by various solutions, like the fungus egot, a grew on vine. Since ingesting the ointment, rig ointment orally, they had a host of pleasantly side effects. Which is chasing of high, high supposedly began to administer it through, well, other, through, well, uh, other areas. Not Ness Munster, arguably the world's most famous sea monster. Ness, he said, to have it. Not Ness in Scotland. For the earliest sighting was reported in the 6th century, I t- I told an English monk, an Irish monk, and a council of a water beast. It was in ni- 1934. Photographs that brought national attention to Loch Ness, known as Surgeon's Photograph. After a London doctor took it, the image has since been exposed as a hoax. Dragons. Before the cultures across the world myths featuring dragons, it's likely a beast of their origins, a more mundane creature. One theory holds it to frag dinosaur fossils, like those of Mr. Stegosaurus, were found thought to be remains of dragons. Apologist David E. Jones has another theory in his book of distinct distinct of dragons. Jones argues that a very fear of large predators is inherent to the human mind. Mermaids and mermen, half human, half fish. Mermaids exist in multiple mythologies, both beautiful maidens and frightening monsters. One of the early examples of such a hybrid, Akapura, a Berberian Bar- 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 mythology, sages associated with God Aya, who depicted half man, half fish. Kirubacha, a well named Kirubacha, which literally means goat sucker, goes back to the 90s in Puerto Rico, with eight sheep were found dead and entirely drained of blood. Since then, been popular as an ahem, scapegoat, whenever live Scotland is sufficiently harmed. Theories hold that the strange infected dogs and coyotes, not Cleopatra's, committed the actual crimes. Magic wands, ancient Egyptian practices, or magic, use metal to eye of ivory wands, decorated with symbols, images, deities. Homer's the Odyssey, written in the 8th century BC, as also a CC, turns ma- man, men into pigs through the use of the word magic wand. Bloody Mary. Charging Bloody Mary in front of a mirror in a dark bathroom. Sleep of Patricia, just with debatable origins. Jupiter Mary may be English Queen Mary I, who accused many persons of his day to seal the fate, only her the nickname Bloody Mary. Given the common name, however, it's possible Mary does not refer to anyone at all. Werewolf. A werewolf, whether human or whether a human shifts into world wolf or wolf I, human hybrid, human wolf hybrid, was first mentioned in the Epic of Goliath, which tells a woman who turned previous lover into wolf. Another popular story is the Greek myth of Lexicon, whom Zeus turned into wolf in a of rage, a syndrome of werewolf is, of course, life life group. Banshee. Female spirits that of Irish mythology, banshees that tell death, a screaming or wailing, they appear as young maidens or old hags, who usually have uncut hair and green or great red clothing. The name Banshee is Old Irish, meaning female fairy or female elf. Kurudarama or Kurudarama are Japanese tree spirits, according to legend, as different trees are over a hundred years old. Some stories have resided in specific trees. And others they so move throughout the forest. Induced the wild west for the studio. Gorabi for Princess Mogora, where their legends goes far further back, carrying the records of ancient mountains. The oldest surviving Japanese book mentions something similar. Podergeist. Podergeist, which means noisy ghosts in German, is usually a spirit that haunts a person. Rather than location, they usually express their anger through the disruption of the household, slamming doors, moving chairs, 
and other objects, and even pictured people. The first investigated cases of photographs happened in Scotland, England, in the late 1600s. Involved in chanted drums, beggars seeking revenge, and burnt devil worship. The famous movie Hammer doesn't look, come out until 1982. Day Burker. A day burker is a miracle of event spirit. The Jewish mythology possesses a human's host. An alien comes to Hebrew, word which mean, meaning to cling. Said to be song with a dead person, the Duke Boat would first appeared in the 16th century literature, before frightening us in the films like 2001, the Unborn in 2020, The Possession. Boo! The oldest record in ODEE are the modern spellings of Boo, is found in the writing of two 18th century Scots. Gilbert Cockrat and John Moreau is said to have used in the north of Scotland fighting crying children. It's since spread far and wide. Razors in candy bars. Poison candy, chocolate bars and needles inside and even treats containing razor blades are used to scare children around Halloween since the mid-1900s. Myth gained traction though through new segments of vice columns like Dear Abbey and Mouth Word of Mouth. The good news is that the theme of candy tampering is almost entirely unfounded. Sociologist Joan West investigated and discovered only incidents of adults messing with candy to try and get money or children doing the same for attention.